What is assault? It's a crime. But really, what's assault? There are generally two types of chemical bonds. That is to say, two ways for two atoms or groups of atoms to attach themselves to each other. In one of these ways, which is a covalent bond, the atoms and their electrons are kind of shared evenly between the atoms that are involved in the process. Ionic bonds don't work like this. Ionic bonds are more like when you have the positive and the negative terminals of a magnet, and they want to stick to each other because opposite charges attract because physics. But how does that happen? In the case of an ionic bond, instead of you having one thing that has some electrons and another thing that has some electrons and they want to share them, one of these things, call it sodium, is missing one electron. And it's usually happy to be missing that one electron. It's a lower energy state for it. And then another thing, we'll say chloride, has an extra electron. That one extra electron gives it a whole full negative charge. Sodium is the opposite. It's missing an electron. So it has a positive charge because it, it needs one more electron to be fully neutral. But the other way that they can be neutral is if they come together. The positive charge of the sodium and the negative charge of the chloride kind of just attract each other, that same electrostatic attraction force that happens with magnets. And they stick to each other and they form a compound called a salt. And that salt is a salt because of this ionic bond. So if you have something that has an ionic bond in it, it's a salt. You can have salts that are comprised of other molecules as well. For example, the acetic acid and vinegar, if you take one of the protons away from the acetic acid, it becomes what's called the acetate anion because you took that proton away but the electrons that were shared between that proton and that oxygen they stay with the acetate and so now it has that extra electron situation it's got that negative charge and it'll find something with a positive charge say sodium and it'll stick to that and that's where you get things like sodium acetate so in short a salt is a compound or a substance that has two parts that are ionically bound to each other those parts themselves can be a number of different things, but the important part about it being a salt is the part where you have an ionic bond happening. But yeah, salts are actually really important. There's a lot of things that we kind of need salt for, not the very least of like preserving our food. Fun fact, the word salary comes from the fact that people used to get paid in salt because it was that valuable. So this is a fun question to answer and I'm glad somebody sent it. If you got any other ones, please feel free to throw them in the comments. Hope you had a good time and enjoyed this one. And until next time, skim thug.